Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, in this week's tutorial I am going to paint a big uh, piece of wall art for um, a wall I have in my house inside um, up over the stairs. It's a very very kind of a very tall uh, portrait type of a painting and I'm going to paint uh, um, a raindrop coming down into water and creating that ripple effect in the water, in the water as it kind of comes pops back up out of the water. Um, I posted this image on my Facebook page during the week and I got a great response. A lot of people saying, yeah, let's do this. So I'm going to do it this week. Um, I hope you like this. I hope it turns out well. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Let me show you the canvas I have here. It's um, a 20 by 30 canvas, okay? You can see it there. I did a very, very rough sketch now of just the sort of the ripples on the water, okay? You see I'm fading out? That's all, a very, very rough sketch. Um, that's all I did. So this is my palette, <coughs> excuse me, paper palette. I have only a few colors. I might not even need some of these. Um, so I have Naples yellow, some lamp black. I have some phthalo blue, a little crimson, alizarin crimson, plenty of white, and I also have a touch of Perusian blue as well. So we have two different types of blues, just to play around with these, Perusian blue and phthalo blue. Um, just to give us different variety of colours, because the reference photograph is quite, there's a lot of greeny blues, uh, that kind of a tone. There's a lot of those kind of colours in the reference photograph, so I thought I'd put two blues there just to give us a bit of choice, okay? I have some turpentine down here, uh, with a little tiny drop of linseed oil mixed in, some tissue, um, and that is basically it. I have my canvas set up here on a big black uh, piece of wood, all right? A sheet of timber, that's all. And that's mounted then on my table easel, okay? Um, I have it secured in place as well, just with one or two little screws, just one there and one here, okay? Just to stop from kind of knocking and rattling against the background. All right, that's all. Just to kind of help steady it. Now, here's my camcorder. I'm going to be recording from very, very far back. All right. It's just on a, tri a tripod there, like that a little easel with an attachment. And this is going to be very, very far back from the canvas. So it's going to be a very wide um, angle, very wide, uh, zoomed right back. So um, when we get to the ripples, then I'm going to have to bring it forward and zoom in close like this. All right. So you can see it in detail. So yes, now the background is just one plain colour from top all the way down. It's just one um, gradient of a kind of a bluey grey. So you don't really need to see everything. It's just one plain colour. All right. So that's it, my friends. Um, I have this tutorial coming up next week. I have it finished. I just need to do a voiceover on that one. That's quite nice. Um, I'll put that up next week for you, okay? I hope you like that. Um, and that's it. So let me turn on this now. I'm on my phone. It's not the steadiest of cameras, but it'll do. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, do follow me along if you wish, if you if if you dare. And uh, I think this is going to look lovely. I'll show you this then hanging up in the wall when it's finished. We'll hang it up in the wall, see what it looks like, yes? Uh, I think it's going to be really nice. I'm hopeful. So go on, get your stuff and follow me along. And thank you so much for your support. I'll be right back. Right, here we go. This is my canvas. And what I just did here was, I took a bit of tissue, and I took some linseed oil on its own, and I just rubbed some linseed oil across my canvas like this, okay? And I just did this all the way down, just to the top of my ripples. I can add more as I go. This just helps the paint really kind of flow around on the canvas, and so the canvas is not very, very dry and chalky -ish, if you know what I mean. Now, let me just get my reference photograph up here. There we go. That's a reference photograph. Can you see that there? I hope you can see it okay. It should be on one side of your screen somewhere. Um, so, a large brush. Now, I do have a, lar a large stubby, but it's quite worn. I'm not sure if I want to use this. So I just picked up another one, which is the very same type of hair. It's just softer and it's a bit fuller. I get a lot more paint on this, but um, I don't have any of these large ones left. I'm going into my art store today to pick some up, but this one is great now for trees and bushes, 
but it's just not very good for filling in large areas of color okay so i'm just going to use this regular soft synthetic brush all right nice and soft look there we go <clears throat> now let's crack on and get this done i've just primed once with a primer just a regular undercoat and i'm going to start now you can see on the the picture there it's a very very light bluey gray and it gets darker as it comes down so let's go to the palette i'm going to dampen my brush in my turpentine and i'm just going to dab the excess off very quickly okay let's take some now i hope you can see all this okay let's take some white lots of white and let's try now i'm kind of torn between the two blues um phthalo blue i don't know is the right one i might try perusian a little perusian blue for a change i think that might be closer to the color that we want now as i'm going i'm going to take little tiny amounts of turpentine now when i say turpentine i mean i what i mean is my thinners okay with a little drop of linseed oil in it already that's what i mean it's just my turpentine i'm just used to saying turpentine when i say um instead of saying thinners i should say thinners really but it's just my turpentine mix um i'm adding turpentine into this as i go i want a nice sort of a creamy texture now you you notice i don't know if you can see or not but it's a sort of a greeny color I'm not sure if that's the right colour for me for this painting. So I might try a little thalo blue. Let's see if that changes a little bit. Now it's very, very strong that thalo blue. It's such a strong colour. Only the tiniest amount is very, very strong. Now I'm taking little hints of thinners. Let's say. As I go, as I add white because the white makes it much thicker. Um, I think we should try, maybe try this, that, uh, that. I, I can't even talk properly today. My, my words are very mixed up this morning. Um, let me just have a look at this now. I think it needs to be slightly softer. Now, when I say softer, I don't mean kind of paler. I just think there's a bit too much blue in this. So I might just take a tiniest, tiniest hint of black, just on the corner of my brush, okay? Um... And what I want to do is just sort of dull the colour down very, very slightly. Now see how well that's moving around on that linseed oil. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this look. Now if this was just a dry canvas, I would have to load and load and reload my brush constantly just to get this amount of paint on. Um, yeah, I think we're getting there. It's still on 100%. I don't know what it looks like from your side. I don't know if you can see that now or not. It's probably a bit high up on the camera um i'll take a touch of it black lots of white mix that in there and let's go across that it's more of a gray kind of a tone here now going on let me just soften that across <coughs> excuse me i have a frog stuck in my throat today i seem to have a lot of frogs lately stuck in my throat um i should have taken some honey i suppose Ah, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's getting there. Now, let's take a touch of turpentine. I'm just taking tiny amounts of turpentine as I go. I'm not lifting my brush right in, okay? Just, you want to do this as you go along, bit by bit. Some phthalo blue. A little hint of the black. Just to make it that slight kind of... Um, a greyish kind of a tone. Now you can see it's going to start getting slightly darker as it comes down. And this is a very thin mix now. I'm putting these mixes on very thin. But they're covering nicely because of that layer of linseed oil underneath. Now you want to soften these right in very, very hard with your brush as you go, you see. So now it's coming down a little bit <coughs> stronger and stronger. So let's go again. Take a tiny drop of thinners. And lots of white and then we can start darkening it as we need you see a little bit of blue a little bit of black i notice as well as it comes down it's kind of heading more towards the blue isn't it and <clears throat> something to bear in mind with this if you look at the reference photograph that big drop which is suspended in midair 
I want a nice kind of a darkest background behind that. I don't want it too pale because I want the highlights on that little droplet of water to really show through. So bear that in mind. I'm, I'm looking at all of those little things as I go. Um, I want them to kind of really show nicely as we're going along. So just remember, you don't want to do your background too pale because you won't see it. If you do it too dark, it'll have the same effect. You won't see it very, very well. So it's, I suppose it's about trying to find a nice balance of colour. Um, so when I'm painting, I'm looking at all of these little things. So I'm almost trying to plan ahead. Um, what's it going to look like against this later on? Kind of a thing. Do you understand? Um, just kind of sit down and study your reference photograph. That's what I will say. Um, study it and kind of come up with a bit of a plan in your head how you're going to go along each step now you can see I've just darkened that now just a little bit okay I'm just using the same two colors but in different strengths that's all phthalo blue and black with some white and that's all I'm doing now you can <coughs> kind of suggest um, a movement of some of the water slightly as it comes down so you can leave some of the brush strokes there a little bit you see what I mean just a little bit here and there just to give you the idea of the water going off into the distance now something else I want to do on this canvas is I want to go around the sides of the canvas as well because I think that will make for a much nicer finished painting when it's hanging on the wall rather than having a white edge around the canvas so I'm just taking some colour just kind of matching it very very loosely all right just around the edges it doesn't have to be perfect because if you notice any difference in colours you can just sort of soften it soften it in because it's oils you can soften it all together see there I'll do the other side later, okay? Not too worried about that. Um, <clears throat> okay, it's coming down, it's going to get a bit more blue, isn't it? A lot more blue. So a little bit thinner. Some phthalo blue, plenty of it. Um, you could try, I, I don't know, should I be trying the Prussian blue? The Prussian blue is a little more on the greeny side. Uh, a little hint of black. Now that black is too much, isn't it? Really. Let's be honest, it's a little bit too much. Let's take a bit of white and then add plenty of the phthalo blue again into it. And then all you do is just keep looking at the reference photograph and just try to get it as close as you can, really. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, all right? And I want to get your opinion on something as well. Um, someone suggested to me that I should put subtitles on the videos. I don't know what to do about subtitles because I don't want subtitles spoiling the video as I'm speaking. So let me know what you think. I know a lot of people are probably finding it difficult to understand what I'm saying uh, because of my Cork accent, my Irish Cork accent. Um, you know, I do apologise, but that's just my accent. I'll, um, I do try and speak as clearly as I can, but I don't know about subtitles. Will they spoil the video? Or are there something that you can switch on and off yourself on your own um, page? You know what I mean? Is it a choice that you can make yourself? I need to investigate that and decide um, what's the best option. But yes, it's just something that I thought I'd mention to you. So we're coming down now, I've added a bit more blue in there, look, okay? We're right down now by the ripples here. And it kind of gets tricky from here on now because you have to sort of blend all of these different shades together while it's wet. That could be tricky. Um, I'm just kind of looking here now just to make sure that I'm happy enough with everything that's going on. I can see a tiny bit of patching here and there, so I'm just going to smooth that over again. Just add a little hint of paint on top of those patches. If you see any of those little patches, it's just because the primer probably didn't go in properly to that point, part of the canvas. No, 
Let's have a look at this. So I'm going to stand back and just take a quick look. It needs to be darker around here, doesn't it? Let's try a little phthalo blue. How about we put in a hint of crimson into it and a hint of black. The crimson will just kind of just warm it very ever so slightly. And I hope my brush strokes are straight. I'm kind of painting from an angle here because I know the camera needs to see it. So I'm hoping my brush strokes are fairly straight. Now I'll take a hint of black. Uh, I'll try a hint of Prussian blue. A hint of phthalo blue. I want to go very, very kind of dark. Uh, let me see. Do you know what? I might take a hint actually of Naples yellow. I can see there's a very strong hint of green sort of in the back here. It's a greeny blue. So I'm leaning right down now, very hard, and I'm going to soften it up then nice and gently as it goes off up into the painting, okay? Keep blending until you're happy enough. Now let me take a quick look at this. I need to just sit back a moment and take a look. Okay, now I don't know if there's a shine on the canvas, you can probably see a big sheen from the light up here. If you do, I apologise, but it's, for me here, it's just a normal gradient. It's going perfectly smooth from one colour to the next, okay? I may even brighten it slightly a bit more with some white later on. But yeah, there we go, nice and soft all the way across. And that is, I would say, most of that background up there finished. All right. Uh, I think I'll move on. I don't know, should I sit for, the, for, for this section or should I stand? It's fairly low for me here. Um, I might just get some of these curves in with this big brush still. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, let's take a drop of turpentine. And... <clears throat> Again, we're just working with the same colours that we have. It's just lighter and darker uh, variants of those colours, that's all. So I'll go with some... i try some Perusian blue, actually, for a change. Uh, maybe hint black. Now, I can see a nice kind of a dark. And look, don't, again, the colours don't have to be exact, all right? I'm, I'm not going to try and match all of these colours exactly the same. It would be silly for me to think that I could even match all of the colours exactly the same. But just as long as you have a bit of fun with this, that's all that matters really. As long as you have fun. Now, you can see straight away, because I didn't wet this with any linseed oil, look, you can see how that's not spreading, look. It's just not spreading. So I think what I'll do is, I might just cover this with linseed oil first before I continue on. Now what I can do actually is, I have a couple of ripples. Going up into the, the canvas. I could put some of those in, just up here. Slightly darker ones. So I'll soften this just ever so slightly first, okay? <clears throat> some nice darker ripples and... I'm going to take a small flat brush, okay, for this. A little flat brush like so. And let me see now. I'm going to dampen it very quickly and then dry it on some tissue, okay? And the ripples are very dark. I'm going to take some black, some phthalo blue. And then I'm going to take that colour and I'm going to put a suggestion of some of those ripples one there I put another one over like that um, I'm trying to be loose but accurate at the same time do you know what I mean? 
Uh, let me get another one. You know, let me just straighten this one a little bit here. So another one, like so. And as they taper out, I'd maybe switch to a smaller brush. Let me go for a small pointy brush, okay, a nice pointy one. Let's take some of that and let's try and soften some of these off outwards into the painting, okay? Just like so. Now let's try and do the same on the other side. Um, I don't know if there should be more of a curve on this one here, like so. And I put a few along here. They almost kind of disappear in the center and they reappear on the sides, don't they? Is that type of effect? Now, how does that look? Do you see? You probably can't see any of that now yet. Uh, okay, I think I may have to sit down because some of my lines are going a little bit haywire because of course I'm at an angle to the canvas and it's kind of difficult for me to see the lines properly. I know it's very high up on this side here. Now, this is all stuff we can fix as we go, okay? Don't worry. Right, I think I'm going to sit I'm going to zoom the camera in now just on this section here and we'll concentrate on this, yes? Just give me a moment to adjust my camera. Okay, let's continue on here. Dampen my brush. Now, I've moved things around just slightly. I hope you don't mind. Um, I'm going to take some phthalo blue. I was kind of thinking about it afterwards just as I was moving the camera around there and I thought, you know what? Let me just fix this here. Um, I'm going to just bring a full colour all the way down on this first, okay? So I'm going to go with that light grey colour, bluey, bluey grey colour. I'm just going to fill this all the way in first all the way down, okay? Alright? I think that might be an easier way of approaching this. Um, do you know, no one said it was going to be a perfect plan. You change things as you go. You know me by now. Um, you know, if it doesn't, if it's not working out, if you feel it's not just not working, then you change things around. You're trying to make it work. Now, I'm going to try and straighten some of these over here, okay? Now, that's a bit better already. Okay, let's go right down with this. And I can see the canvas now starting to get a little bit patchy here and there. I will just add little bits of paint over all of that later on, all right? So don't worry about all of that. A little more thinners, some blue, little white, little black. Let's try some Prussian blue as well in there. Um, it seems to kind of get a lot more blue as it comes down, doesn't it? I'm just going to fill in very kind of roughly, very roughly. And I suppose it does a fair as well that if you make this too thin and too watery, um, that you're going to see brush marks on the canvas and that kind of thing. So I don't want that either. I want to try and keep the colours nice and almost thick on the canvas, but I want them to move around as well. Now, I said earlier on I was going to add some linseed oil onto this. I forgot to do that, so I'm going to add some linseed oil to the bottom of this canvas, just to help with paint flow, that's all, okay? It does really make a big difference. Little tiny drop, just here and there, look. Soften that right in. Okay, done. That's all we need to do. Take this now and just come down here again, and that really helps. It really, really, really helps. I'm going to go right through this. Um, I can still kind of see my pencil lines slightly, even when I paint this on, because the paint is a little on the thin side. It's not very thick, opaque kind of paint. So 
I can still sort of see some of my pencil lines on this. So I'm not too worried about losing them completely. If you're worried about it, you can um, leave your, go around your pencil lines, try and leave some of them there, if you like. Okay, a little bit of thinners, little touch of phthalo blue. Let's try a hint of crimson as well, hint of black. And we have a very dark kind of a spot around here. Okay, now I want to try and get this in the centre of the canvas as well. I've kind of kept it over to one side. I don't know why. I do apologise. It's kind of all to one side. Um, it shouldn't be really. But look, I'm just going to try and form the ripple on the water there. Um, I darken it over here somewhat. And I darken it over here. I'll be working on all the details later. Don't worry about all the little detailed areas. They will come later on, okay? I'm not going to be too worried about all the little stuff. I just want to kind of get the bulk of the canvas covered. And then, once everything is kind of covered and painted in, I can concentrate on areas then, lights and darks, and so on. So I just want to get all of this covered. Get rid of all the white on the canvas. That's basically my my aim at this minute. And it gives you a nice base then from which to start, okay? Another top drop of turpentine, some black, sailor blue, little pink, just a little hint of pink I think is nice. Just to give it a little touch of warmth. Now, as well as that, you can kind of follow the curve of the water, of the ripple, if you wish, with your brush strokes. I think it will help kind of make it that bit more convincing also. So now, we have most of this, we have all of this canvas covered, don't we? <coughs> Excuse me. So... What should we do next? These lines are completely wrong up here. As far as I'm concerned, they're completely wrong. So I'm going to soften some of those out. Okay, soften them back in. Doesn't matter if they're still there a little bit, but just soften them back in. I'll try and get these right because, you know, I'm, gonna be, I'm only going to be doing this once. So I might as well try and do it right. Is that correct? Okay. Now, I'll go up there now and try and get those back in again uh, properly. Okay, let's try and do it properly. I will take another small flat brush. Okay. <clears throat> I'll take some black, hint of blue. I'll take a hint of white because I want to make this colour um, nice and thick and pasty. All right? So I'm going to add lots of each colour to it. Let's try a touch of Prussian blue actually. Why not? Okay, now let's go up. The main one is this big outline here. This really kind of shows the end of the ripples, doesn't it? Okay? Much better, yes? Now let's take a smaller brush. Let's go for a small pointy brush. And let's get some of the other ripples in above this. It's sort of a hit and miss, isn't it? Okay, just like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, 
and they sort of level off as they go off in, don't they? Now, is that better? I think it probably is a little better than what we had before, isn't it? Okay, it's not bad. Now I'm going to do the very same. <clears throat> I'm going to take my <clears throat> round brush and I'm going to just dampen that. <clears throat> I'm going to take some white and I'm going to take a hint of the Perusian blue and I'm going to add some highlight into this as well. In between those little ripples there now, okay? So I'm going to just take a nice creamy colour and I can see some light coming in. Like so. And I'm sort of softening the ends just ever so gently in, all right? Um, it's only very subtle, really. All right, you see? It's a very, very subtle difference. Um, over here, there's only just one or two, really. There's hardly any light hitting these ones over here. It's just a little bit here and there. Perhaps one or two just in the centre there. Now, it's just to show the light hitting the water, that's all, it's nothing else. Now, we have a do, we do have a nice one as well, going across the top of this. And it's just under the black line. Take a bit more white, a hint of crimson. I can see a hint of crimson in this. It's a warm, bright warm colour. All right, and let's add a bit more as it comes out. Okay, how's that? It's not bad so far, is it? I'm gonna put a hint of it behind the line as well. Now, the next thing you can do is, I'm gonna darken some of this hair. See this band? I'm going to start making this a little bit darker. Now, I think it's coming on pretty good so far, don't you? Um, I will move on to a slightly bigger brush. I'm going to, I'm going to use a new, a number eight stubby brush, okay? This is my medium stubby. I'm going to try this. Now, you can see it's very flat and very new. It'll take a while to fill up and kind of bulk out a little. We have a slightly darker kind of, there's a hint of green going through this one now as well, isn't there? Let's take some blue and let's take a hint of, I was going to say Naples yellow. Um, hmm. I was thinking should I maybe take a touch of cadmium yellow, a touch. I think I might take just the tiniest little touch of cadmium yellow for this. Okay, just a hint. I can see a beautiful hint of turquoise around here. It's really, really lovely. Um, it's what kind of drew me to the painting, the, the photograph, that beautiful colour. Now that's a bit green, but you can just add more and more blue to it as you need, okay? Take a bit of white. A touch of turpentine again, just to help this move. Now, how's that? Let me have a look at this now. There's a lovely green colour just it sort of pops in and out. Okay, I know it's not exactly the same, but it's there. There's a, I definitely see a hint of kind of a turquoisey green, albeit now a dark kind of a turquoisey green going through it here and there. Now I'll take a little bit more blue and I'm gonna just pop a little blue in here and there. Now, it starts to kind of turn around here, doesn't it? And I'm just going to put that rough outline in, just very quickly there. And let's take a bit more blue. I can see 
there's kind of little hints of blue kind of flicking in and out here and there. Can you see that? Okay, and we come over to this side. Um, all right, it's sort of now it kind of gets a little bit starts getting lighter as well as it comes around. So I'm going to just give this a quick wipe on some tissue, and I'm going to take some white. Now I suppose the secret to a lot of this is to have a nice fine point on your brush. These soft brushes have a lovely fine point on them, which is why I love using them, and it's great for this kind of work. So look, we can put a little flick of light colour around here and there out of flicking it through you see creating that lovely movement in the water and try a touch of Perusian blue in this and uh, a bit of phthalo lovely um kind of there's some nice lovely ripples kind of popping through it it's really lovely you see it's that kind of a colour um especially around here Okay, now give it a clean just to keep the colour nice and fresh. Let's get some more blue. We can add a bit more blue into this as we need. Okay, um, I'll take a bit more blue. I'm adjusting it now as I go. If I think it needs a bit more blue, I'm just going to add it in. Okay. You see, just a sort of a hint here and there. I'm being very, very kind of loose with all of this now as well. Um, okay, now I'm going to start getting some real bright colour in. Just cleaning my brush. And I'm going to take lots of white. A hint of the blue. Um, perhaps even a touch of the pink, okay? Just a hint. But loads and loads and loads of white in this. I think the hint of pink will just give it that bit of a glow. You know what I mean? Um, let's kind of go around. We have bright line there. Okay. We'll brush it clean again. Uh, we have a lovely sort of a bright line there. This wonderful colour here. Okay. Like that. I hope you're enjoying this now. I hope you're getting something from this. Um, and then this kind of turns like that, doesn't it? And it comes down and it goes like that. Okay. Right, let's go back to our blue. Let's take a bit more of a darker colour, I think. A bit of hint of black in this. And uh, a nice dark colour in there. The secret, I suppose, to getting this to look realistic is to get the brush marks separate on the canvas to keep them, but some of them are sort of blending together, others are kind of sharp, strong lines. Do you understand? Um, I think that's the difficulty with painting something like this. So I just keep observing the... Um, I keep observing the reference photograph just to get my shades just right. Bit of a darker colour coming in here. Okay. Softens down that way. Uh, we have a nice darker couple of little ripples along here. Okay. So, it's kind of taking a bit of shape, isn't it? Albeit a little slowly. But look, there's no rush. Whoever said there was any rush? I may have to do a part two, but what harm? So you're just kind of creating some of the ripples here and there. Okay. Now, you see, what I'm going to do then later on, now I'm just going to show you this, but what I will do then is 
take your soft blender brush and very gently soften those together, even follow the curve around. All right, that's what I'll do then later on to get these colors lovely and soft together. And especially along here where they meet, nice and soft. Okay, so you can kind of see now how it all kind of works then when you blend it together very, very gently. Isn't it lovely? Coming on very, very nicely, I think. Um, okay, how are we doing on time? I have 10 or 20 minutes left on this camcorder. I'm going to start strengthening some of these colours down here, I think. Yeah, I think they need to be a little bit stronger, get some ripple effects in down here. So, big brush again. Let's take some phthalo blue, uh, a little hint of crimson, touch of black, a hint of white. Now, let's just come on down here. Add some brighter colours across. Touch of thinners, soften it slightly, more white, and a hint of crimson. And I can see it's a nice sort of a bright colour down here, isn't it? And I'm just following the curve. I'm just kind of creating that curve of the ripples with my brush, you see? That's all. Now, it's already coming along quite nice, isn't it? Now, we have a very dark patch just in the centre there. I want to get that in. because That's very, very dramatic. I'm going to take some Prussian Blue. A little bit of black, a little hint of crimson. Let's try some phthalo blue. And I'm going to take a hint of cadmium yellow in this. As I can see, it's a very blacky kind of a green. I think a bit more yellow. It needs a bit more yellow. It's a very, I can see, I can quite clearly see a hint of a greeny hue in this. Now it kind of comes down here at a curve, a slight curve, and then it sort of tapers off. Doesn't it? Am I right? And it's very soft, it's a very, very soft colour. I'll take a bit more of that yellow, and I'm going to soften that. Even a hint of white as well. Okay, there we go. And I can see a lot of a green then, just at the bottom here. It's there now, albeit very dark. I will darken this, don't worry. But it's a very dark, rich, um, kind of a viridian type of a green. Okay, so I'm going to, first of all, just soften some of this in here. Okay. okay I'm going to take my small brush. Now, I need to get more phthalo blue because I'm all out of phthalo blue. Okay. And I know you're excited to get onto the droplets. I'm really excited as well myself, but I want to get this section just correct. Do you know what I mean? I just want to get it just right. Because I don't want to spoil my drops by having to paint back over them later. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to get this completely right down here. No, and then we have a nice rich blacky green 
here. Like that. And then I lighten it slightly as it comes off. A little bit more blue actually into this. Um, I'm going to soften it down. Here, I'll add a bit more blue as it comes down. Okay, like so. Um, a little ripple here. Okay, now I'm going to leave that for a sec. I'm going to go in and just fill in this dark section in here, okay? Just to get some kind of structure going, some sense of what we're painting, all right? I just want to get that in. Uh, it goes from that to a sort of a light blue. Get some more blue. Now, most of this is just paint on its own as well, okay? I don't have much thinners in this. A little bit of light blue, okay, up around here. So we have this light blue coming across. And we have this very nice rich light blue here. It's quite tricky you now trying to get all these kind of things to merge together to become one. It's a little bit tricky, but you know, you're not going to know unless you try, really, are you? Um, let's get this big dark piece in here, okay? Let me take a bit of blue um, and a hint of yellow. So we have a kind of a bluey yellow and a sort of lightens to a bluey yellow just here. Then it lightens again into a lighter blue. I'm just going to fill this area in here now, alright? Just very, very quickly. Okay, how are we looking so far? Are we getting a little bit of structure going, I wonder? I am wondering. I might take my small brush, my small round brush, and get some of the really dark colours in with the small brush, okay? So my little round brush here. Um, I need to steady my hand for this. I'm going to dampen that very slightly and I'm going to take some black, some phthalo blue and quite a bit of thinners in this now as well. A hint of yellow as well, look, okay? But lots of blue and lots of black. I don't want it too watery, but I want this now nice and thin to flow around, nice and creamy, okay? Look, nice and thick and creamy. And I'm going to strengthen some of i can see lots that's up here now there's a lot of dark color um okay let me go like this okay all right and then i'm gonna go around like this 
Now, it's not a very pointy brush, it's not the best brush in the world. Okay. Let's go with a bit more blue in this. Let's get it nice and bluey. So I'll come across like so. A little more thinners. A little more blue. Oh, again, look, I'm not trying to copy it exactly, all right? So it's just, it's only a rough representation of the photograph, that's all. All right, uh, comes all kind of tapers out here a little bit, doesn't it? Like so. I'll take my smaller brush. And I can just refine some of these. with that brush so how's this coming on now? it's not too bad I would say ok, I'm going to go back to my slightly smaller flat brush and I'm going to start putting some lights around here. I'm going to take some phthalo blue, a little white, a little crimson. I want to start brightening it slightly. Bit more crimson, bit more white. Okay. There we go. And it's a very slow process, isn't it? I bet you thought now that I was going to just have this done and dusted in like a half an hour. But no, it's a quite a long process, I have to be honest. But I'm really enjoying it. And I really like kind of chatting to you um, about all this kind of stuff and painting in general and just you know, being nice and friendly, nice, simple little chat, talk about painting and, you know, it's almost like you're in the room next to me, it really, really is, it's fantastic, I love it, it's, it's fantastic, it's like you're right next to me. Okay, come around here. Now, I have to try and create the impression of the water kind of turning downwards. So I'm going to just kind of go along now and take hints of bright pink and I'm going to create, try and create the impression of it kind of turning around, you know. Clean your brush again. Just keep cleaning your brush in between all of this. Um, right, I'm just going to take my other small flat brush because I can see a lot of green, dark greeny blue just down in here, okay? I can see that very rich kind of a greeny colour popping in. 
and then I pop in some Prussian blue into that. Okay, soften a bit of that through. Um, now I want to sort of soften this together ever so gently, all right? Uh, it's kind of difficult to try and create the illusion of it all being just one flow of water. Now, let me try. I have this brush and I have another soft kind of a makeup brush. I'm going to try and soften it through a little bit with that as well. So I'm kind of trying to create one kind of solid brush stroke, do you understand? You see? Because even though there's some very dark, strong lines there, there are everything is still kind of softened together very slightly. You know what I mean? It's a very soft kind of a line, very soft edge on all of the lines. So there's no sharp edges on the brush strokes. You see what I mean? I'm trying to soften it through as best I can without losing those brush strokes. You see, does, does that kind of make a bit more sense? If I explain it that way. Uh, we have a little bit of a light blue. Let me see now, let me get some of this Prussian blue with some white, okay? That should give you a nice light, a kind of a highlight blue for just around here. Alright, there we go. And another little bit sort of around here. It's just a case of picking out little areas, you know. Um, where you can see these hints of colour. I know it's kind of difficult to explain. Uh, with paintings like this, it's very difficult to explain because I'm sort of only learning as I go as well. Does that make sense? Um, you know, I haven't painted anything like this before. Um, I painted the wine glass and so on, but I haven't painted anything this sort of close up and this detailed before. So this is kind of new to me as well. I'm learning just along with you, just as you're learning. So we're in this together. We really are. Um, okay, kind of comes down like that. I know this area is not perfect over here. So I'm just going to soften now very slightly this here and bring that down a little bit there. I kind of, I see if I can kind of get the general shape of everything um, almost right. And then I can go in and work on details. Soften this one up around like that. Now I'm going to stand back and just take a quick look at this and just get a good gauge on how it's coming together, okay? Now it's not too bad so far. What I might do actually now is start working on some of the really bright highlights. Um, so yeah, I think I'll get a small brush now actually. And will I zoom in slightly for this? Now, my stand did break on the camcorder stand, so I'm able to move this around on the easel very kind of noisily. Um, okay, let's get some nice bright lights in. And I'm thinking some crimson and a little white, okay? Well, lots of white, really. It's almost pure white, but I think the hint of crimson will just give it that 
luminous white kind of a feeling do you think you can see it already it's fantastic um now this kind of softens along the back of that that's probably wrong now i know this curve is completely wrong on this I'll bring this black up as well, I think, a bit, in a moment. Nice and gently, just going along, happily, just putting everything in. Now, I'm going to switch to a slightly bigger brush because that's just not working for me either. It's just so difficult to find the correct brush, I think. Sometimes with painting, it's just so difficult to find the correct brush. Uh, I'll try this one here. Just to fill things in, you know. Just bigger brush strokes, that's what I need. And also, you probably have to leave some of this dry if you want to get more prominent brush strokes on your painting. Okay, so we have that um, up a bit further, I think. And then leave this sort of taper off. And this almost creates a couple of little ripples as well itself, doesn't it? Okay, just like that. Okay. That's one little piece. We're getting there slowly, so it's absolutely fine. Let's take another, um, a very light blue next. Um, let me kind of bring, I think I'll bring this in a little bit. You know, I don't want to kind of you understand I'm trying to keep this nice and even um, let's go like this probably a bit a bit nicer and along like that okay um okay let's try more of that pink i quite like that kind of pink let's add a little bit like that um the ripples are not kind of solid straight lines as well they sort of they bend here and there as well don't they Okay, we're getting there now nice and slowly. I think I might leave these little droplets until the very end because there's quite a bit of detail in those, I think, isn't there? There's a fair bit of detail in them. Now I'm just going to darken this here just a little bit, okay? And I'm going to bring it up as well. Like that and then I just add around that a kind of a pale blue color just to help soften it in 
to that color next to it, okay? Now, I'm going to darken some of the finer points. Just let me find a nice pointy brush here now. Okay, now we'll go with this one. I'm going to just take some of this blacky color here. And I'm just going to kind of define a little bit of this again. And I might define a little bit of this as well, just along there. And then I'm going to soften that side and soften this side in really well as well. And come down here, create that. Sort of look that it's coming further down on one side. Sort of a look. Okay. Now we also have we also have a nice dark line just along here. So let's put that in as well. Soften out. And go up here a little bit as well. So I'll just put little shadows behind some of these lighter colours, okay? Just a few. Um, a couple sort of up around here. Now, I'm going to soften a lot of this together, okay? Just to get that nice watery look. Follow your brush strokes all the way around. Let's stop and have a look at how we're getting on. Now, it's not too bad now, so far is it? I think I will let that dry for a while and continue on then with the little droplets. In fact, I could probably put the droplets in here um, at the moment as we speak. I think I'll put those ones in. There's a little outline of some of them there, isn't there? Let's go with some white first, okay? Um, let's just say there's one, the base of one is here, right? I want to go nice and big down with some of these. Alright, that's that. And we have a little base that goes up and down. I don't know now if you can see this or not. But, you know, look, I might have to leave some of it dry. We'll see how we go. Uh, we have a little circle. There. And then we get some of the bluey colour. Light blue. And come down here. Uh, there's another one. Sort of like that. Another piece there. And we have another base sort of coming around like that. 
Then we have a bit of a nice bright colour again down here. Now, we're surround doors then have a very dark piece in between on there. Okay, like that. And they have a dark line then around them also. Over here. And they have a very dark line around here as well. Sort of merges into one, doesn't it? Okay, and let's go up here, a nice dark piece there, just like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, we also have nice dark lines around this and around this soften some of those quite tricky isn't it i must say now it's a uh, Tricky enough, get a bit of white just at the side of this and I'll pull it across like so and get a little bit of light on this one as well and a little bit on that and we have a little bit on that. Okay, now we have a very, a couple of very dark lines going through some of those. I think I'll just do these and let the rest dry for a little bit, okay? I have a very nice dark line coming down like that. And coming, let's see now, it kind of goes like that and down again now we want that comes up and then down Okay, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. And then we have a lot of bright colour just in there as well. Going to get another brush for that. A nice little pointy brush. There we go. I'm going to take some nice vibrant white. And I'm going to go in here and get some nice white just in here like that. All right. And it sort of softens outwards then. Ever so slightly outwards. Uh, it kind of turns around this as well. Doesn't it? And it kind of flicks off then in between like that. It's just a case of going along just doing bit by bit. That's all. This might be a little bit difficult now for a lot of you, but you should try it. You might enjoy even trying.
You know? You should, really. I'm finding it quite difficult. You know, I'm. it's not perfect by no means. Uh, let's go around. Not like that. And we come in here with that. And we also have a little bit of a lighter blue. Right, I'm going to just soften all of this now. Just soften it outwards and inwards. Try and soften some of the brush strokes out. And there we go. So I think I'll, I'll stop at this just for now. Let this dry. A little bit and I can finish off some of the details then okay I hope you don't mind let me get my soft brush now and kind of try and soften some of this into the reflection okay you see just very gently I think stretching the lines just ever so slightly will help okay now I'm happy enough with that so far don't go anywhere, I will be right back, okay? Um, actually, there's one piece now that I see which should be much more prominent than the rest. This beautiful white section in here. It's really bright, isn't it? And as I said, I will leave some of this dry because it's just a case of putting wet paint on top of wet paint and it's difficult to get those fine lines when you work like that. Okay, I'll let that try and be right back. Don't go anywhere. <clears throat> okay, I have zoomed in very slightly here now on the painting. Um, it's a little bit kind of dried off here and there. I don't know if you can see kind of slight patching some on some spots, but this will be completely fine once it's completely dried in and I give it a clear coat of um, a lovely varnish, okay? Um, and it'll be lovely and even then, okay? Now, um, I'm taking my small brush. I just want to bring this up a little bit more here, this dark area, because I'm still not happy with that. I'll be honest, I'm still not very, very happy. So it's kind of all sort of slightly down to one side, isn't it? So I'm just taking a damp brush here, a little bit of black, I'll take a hint of yellow, that'll give me a very dark green, and then a hint of blue, okay? A very dark, greeny, bluey sort of a colour. Now that's a bit green. Let's take a bit more blue in that. I want to come up slightly higher with that, all right? Um, it just seems to me sort of, kind of almost, dare I say, lopsided, um, kind of slightly down, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to have to address that. Now, look, it's not too bad, but you'd probably get away with it, but I, you know, I want to get this right, you know what I mean? I really do. Now, I'm going to take my finger, right, and I'm going to soften this around in a curve. So I'm going to take the paint, and I'm going to drag it around like that, okay? soften it off now you can see it's kind of begin to dry underneath already now this is only I'm, I'm only gone maybe three or four hours i left the house for a couple of hours i came back and it's already starting to dry in pretty good so i'm pretty happy with this now i'm going to take some stale not stale uh, prussian blue and some black and i'm going to come down and get it really dark down in here touch of turpentine on your brush Let's get some phthalo blue, some really rich dark colours. It is very, very dark down on that side, isn't it? And over here also. 
I'm going to soften this downwards into the collar underneath. Okay, now that's a little bit better, isn't it? I would say so. And I'm also going to use that colour to darken in here. It's really very dark inside here, isn't it? It's almost like a black. Now, I'm kind of, I am I work in this in layers, okay? Um, you know, I put on a layer, let it dry slightly, put on another layer. If you want really dark, strong, vivid colours, I suggest leaving it dry a little bit and then going back in with more paint, you see? Now, I know this is going to be tricky for my, my water droplet in the moment because I'm putting more wet paint on, but I just feel this needs to be done. I need to get this right before I move on to the water droplet because I can't go around the water droplet afterwards. Do you understand what I mean? It's just one observation, just to be aware of that. Now I'm taking a small roundy brush, okay? Plenty of turpentine in this. I'm gonna take some black and some phthalo blue. And I'm just going to strengthen some of these. lines all right um color wise just want to strengthen them a little bit and there we go a little bit there and yeah you know we're not too bad we're going pretty well i would say now i'm going to curve this around here and come in like this okay so you can see the way that sort of curves in and comes down and it comes in here inside the first piece of water coming up and it goes over here and around you see and then i'm going to sort of soften it with my finger around that edge there that looks a little bit better now doesn't it um next before i leave my i'm going to leave the water until the very very end okay my next step is uh, let me just strengthen this a little tiny bit more, okay? And I want to kind of soften this a bit more as well with some lighter blue. So I'm just going to dampen this brush very slightly. Take some phthalo blue white. And I just, maybe a, t a hint of pink actually, a hint of crimson. I just want to sort of soften this um, and create extra colours in here. to soften in very slightly you see and i want to kind of bring that around this curve over here all right and then again i'm going to take some phthalo blue and i'm going to go up here and darken this as well somewhat just around that black okay because i can see a nice sort of a dark swirling around here like that okay and it stops like that then it sort of tapers off goes around the white and then it goes sort of back around doesn't it Okay, now the next thing I do want to do is I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to just strengthen some of the white. Okay, I'm just going to take, now let me find a nice little brush here. It's something like this, just any little brush that you have. I want to strengthen some of this white. So it's had a chance to dry a little bit. Now it is still a little bit wet, but it's much easier to work on than it was previously. I'll clean the brush, go back into some fresh white. And I'll clean the brush again. There's just a very bright spot just in there, isn't there? And then it comes out and sort of fades off then outwards, doesn't it? Like so. No, I'm happy enough with that. I think I'll just leave that for now. Let's move across to the other side. And this one comes around like that, disappears off. Yeah, clean the brush again, back in and pick up more fresh colour. 
and we're going to go around like this okay keep cleaning your brush keep it nice and bright and fresh and we'll go around like this then okay just like a little representation of what you're painting you see look just a little couple of and we can lighten some of them out here as well you can kind of continue to work on this now as you see fit okay uh, a couple around there this would be nice and soft here Okay, and we have a nice, very bright spot just around here as well. Now, how do you reckon all this is looking so far? I think it's, I think it's coming on quite nice. Um. You see, I just want to kind of brighten some areas. I, I can see I can see a lot of areas which have kind of darkened slightly in the past while. So I'm just going to lighten some areas. You see, like along here now, there's some bright spots which have kind of gotten lost almost. All right, and there's another nice one around here. I don't want to kind of spoil it too much. I do want to keep the softness of a lot of these colors. So I just, I've been very careful now. I don't want to overdo this. It can be spoiled very quickly. Now let me, let me have a look, soften this out, uh, come on, yeah, soften some of that, and I will kind of go over some of the dark areas again, later on, and strengthen some of those out as well. Okay, now, I think we'll just move on to our little water droplets, I'm excited to get these done. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm also going to take another very small pointy brush to give me some real detail, okay? Nice little one there. Now, nice and clean. And I think I'll start with this one, okay? Nice and pointy. And let's start with, we start at the bottom, should we? Or should we start up around here? I don't know. I don't know, really. Let's just take a little bit of white. I'm very tip of that. We're going to use just white now, I think, okay, to create some of the outlines of this. Now, let's start. We have a little uh, white section in here, which kind of shows up lovely. And we dip in again, get a nice point on our brush. And let's go and just make a little curve like that curve like that and then we have a little piece of goes across the middle like that and I'm going to zoom in slightly here now just to get a good look at what I'm painting okay and it kind of softens upwards very slightly okay and then we have another little one Like so, and then it tapers out into another narrow. Kind of one, doesn't it? Then we have the main one, main kind of a big uh, one up on top of this. Let's just go. Um, it's always kind of scary, isn't it? I 
It's all bit scary the first time trying to get this right. It needs to be a bit wider, I would say. Okay. Now I can see two triangles here. I can see one there and one there. And I would say it's just a case of looking at the different shapes and filling them in. Basically. Do you know what I mean? That's it really in a nutshell. Just looking at them and filling them in. Alright, um we have another one here. I'm gonna take my smaller brush, I'm gonna take some of the blue, alright? Some of the very bright blue. And I'm going to sort of feed some of that in here and there. So I can see a little bit on this side. And I'm going to soften that in a moment. I can see some. Uh, see some of that in here also. Now I'm going to soften that across with my finger and I'm softening these ones across with my finger like this to create the illusion of sort of a see-through kind of a thing. Um, up here there's a lot of blue in this one up here as well. I'm going to take plenty of phthalo blue and go up here and put some of that Okay, cross like that. Then I'm going to take some of the darker colour, some black and some blue, and I'm going to put some of that in around here. I can see it's kind of pretty much only up in this corner. Very delicate kind of work, isn't it? All right, get there like that, and a bit of black on the top of this. Okay. So I'm just taking my time now, filling all this in nice and slowly. Um, I come down to the bottom. We have a nice dark section down at the bottom here, don't we? Like so. Let's take some black. Um, I'm going to strengthen this with some black. And let's go to the center one. It is quite dark. Okay, now I do see a lot more highlight that I have to put in, 
but I'm just going to continue on with this dark colour for now. Uh, we have a little piece here, don't we? Like so. And these dark lines again. I'm going to strengthen some of those just so that they really show out. Okay, like that. Now I know it's all kind of up on one side, isn't it? It's completely wrong. But look. Nobody said it was going to be perfect. Oh, how's this looking so far? It needs a bit of blue, doesn't it? It needs a bit of blue here and there. Uh, it needs a little hint of blue down in there. And it needs a bit of blue there, like that. Um, up here, there's a lot of light. catching there and I will just keep adding little lights as I go I'm just going to first now go uh, let me see how much there's a bit of brightness down at the bottom as well isn't there a little bit of bright color just down there I have another little bit showing through here And we have some more, a little bit of a bluey kind of a one showing here. Okay, just like that. There we go. And we have a nice dark colour again going around some of these. Alright. Now Let's get some nice bright colour. Actually, what don't we do? We'll go up here and we'll do this one on top, yes? Let's just get this outline done on top. And then we can... Now, I'm going to get my stick. Where is my stick? Oh, there's my stick. I have a little stick here. little bamboo stick for leaning on. There we go. All right, I'm going to put this across here. And it's very handy for leaning against, you see? Now... I'm going to pick a point. Let's go up high, yes? Now, can you see this up here? You can, can you? I think you can. Um, yeah, you probably can. I'll go up around here. Let's just do a circle. Is that big enough? Maybe go a bit wider? I'm not sure. I'm afraid. Very difficult to get a perfect straight circle, isn't it? A perfect circle. Quite difficult. Now, with this brush clean, I'm going to get a 
dollop of white. Pure white. And go along the bottom of this. Okay, then we have some darker colour over this. So we we'll put a little band across the middle of this. And then we have a nice light bluey sort of a colour up over this. Take some phthalo blue on its own because it's quite a rich blue. Okay, and then we have a little dabble of white around one edge of this a little bit more okay then we have some white over on this side like so now, we want to try and soften those together somehow, okay? What I'm thinking is, if I perhaps even just dab the brush very gently, you see? Even just once. That might help soften those colours together just a little. Do you think so? Now, I'll put a little dot here. And we'll put a little dot up here just to suggest the light catching it. Uh, I'm going to come down here, put a little swirl. I can see lots of little swirls inside this one. Now it's by no means perfect. I can see that. It does need uh, lots more work, but look, in general, I think we're we're getting there. I must get some fine pointy brushes. And again, do let this dry and you can come back to it then another, at another stage. Much easier. Much easier to work on when it's completely dry. Let's take some thick black and put some black in here. No. Right, let me just take a little of the blue and put a little shadow some of these I'll take a bit more dark and I'll Darken some of this. So let me let's sit back and take a quick look at this. It's not too bad. You know, we can um, kind of continue to work away on it for as long as we like. I 
I think it's not bad. I'm happy enough. You could very easily just overdo all of this and just make it worse. Um, I think we have to know when to kind of stop. Does that make sense? Okay. Let's call it finished. I think we'll quit while we're ahead. Um, you know, it's very difficult to make a call of when to stop. Very difficult. But I will just soften this slightly. And there, my friends, we have it. I'm going to leave well alone. Let's zoom back and take a look. And that will do absolutely fine. It's just a representation of the photograph. Anyway, that's it, okay? That's all we're trying to achieve. Um, try to simplify it. Now, it's not perfect. I can see lots of ways I need to improve those droplets. Um, Symmetry-wise, I think a lot of them need a bit more work, don't they? For example, I think... Bring that out there. Okay, perhaps something like that. The last thing for me to do is to sign my name to this wonderful painting. I'm very, very happy with that. Let's take a little white and come over here. S. Conway. There we have it, everyone. Our new artwork. Isn't that fantastic? So there we are, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Isn't that wonderful? I think that's fantastic. I think looking at it from there, it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm very, very happy. Um, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Probably a little bit more detailed than I was expecting. I would have liked to simplify it a bit more. Um, but look, you know, it was very, very fun showing you something in detail for a change. Um, I hope you appreciate that. Thank you so much. Do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And pop over to my Patreon channel. There's lots of extra tutorials there for you if you wish to support me. Uh, look, just give this a go. It's really so much fun. Just try and simplify it yourself in your own unique way. Okay? Thank you for joining me. Um, I wish you all the best. Stay safe and happy painting. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Goodbye my friends.